Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 15 through 17. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. So what is this saying? When you become one with God, what does that mean? When you are joined unto the Lord and becoming one spirit. When you become one spirit with the Lord, you are going to share most or all of his qualities. As in his personality traits. So you are going to have love and love others. You are going to have peace and have peace with others. So qualities of God. Okay, let's go back to 16. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. So when you have sex with a woman or a man, you are going to share whatever is in them. You are going to share most or all qualities about that person. For instance, yes, you are going to share the demons that they have too. Let's say that the woman has 20 demons and the man has 50 demons. <clears throat> So when they have sex, the woman no longer has 20 demons. The man no longer has 50 demons. They both now have 70 demons. Why? Because they have become one flesh. Now, whether they share all the demons, I'm not sure. But from what this is saying, they are becoming one. So when you become one with someone, you both share, you both share the same things. Does that make any sense? So let's say that the woman has some type of insecurity problem. When the men have sex with that woman, it is possible that that man is going to share that insecurity problem. So let's say that this guy has some type of phobia. When that woman has sex with that man, it is possible that woman is going to share that phobia as well. I'm telling you. So who cares about a pretty face? Who cares how sexy a person is? If you have sex with someone out of marriage and before marriage, you are going to get their demons. So is it worth it? Well, Kevin, you know, I'm just going to have sex with them because they are cute. They have a cute face. That is stupid. Think about it. Life is already hard for you when you are in sin. Now, you are having sex with more than one person. So imagine how many demons you have now. Imagine. Most people, many people have sex with more than one person. So the number of demons that you have may be insane. The insecurities and those psychological problems and stuff like that, <laughs> very overwhelming. This is the reason why you can't think straight. This is the reason why you continue to make the same mistakes over and over again because of the demons. 
one of many reasons that rhymes but you see sex is something that you really should not play with yes it may feel good but the end result if you do it before a marriage you are going to get more demons which is going to make your life worse no matter if you are rich and all of this other stuff because what the what is the point of money when you have no peace how can you enjoy your success your success when you have a mountain full of demons the more demons you have the less peace you are going to have so it is not worth it trust me I was in the same category as well you know just because this rap artist or this singer sings about sex and tells you about how great it is don't listen to it because it is going to make your life worse if you do it out of marriage or with a person that you are not married to transference of demons when you have sex before marriage or with someone you are not married with is it worth it well Kevin you know I want to be popular you know I want to be in the in crowd <laughs> what <laughs> are you serious really take heed to this God bless